The new sci-fi series Shadow Belt promises to take viewers to the other side of consciousness with a series of interconnected stories that force us to question our relationship with reality. Here to mess with our minds today, the Shadow Be Shatter Belt cast, Patton Oswalt, Richard Fallen, J.J. Nolan, Shannon Timberlake, along with director Jim Ward Birkin. Welcome all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we were having a very natural conversation before. Yes. And then it Super all natural. Yeah. 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 With mirth yeah. and laughter. Yeah. Uh, Take it down. We have to talk about Coherence first before we talk about yes. uh, Shatter Belt. Coherence comes out 10 years ago. Jim's yeah. like, you know what? I want to make a movie. I want to make a movie in one day. I want to use my friends. I'm going to film it in my home. Yes. And I'm going to release it to the world. Fast forward 10 years later, Coherence is global. And Coherence influences this universe. Connect the dots for us. That was a labor of love and took us by surprise how it got to the world and, and sort of became this weird cult favorite in China and India and, and all over. And I have been trying to get something else off the ground all this time. It's been very difficult. And I finally, during the pandemic, just said, if I want to make something else, I'm going to have to do the same thing. Reach out to friends and family and just start making something. And that's what happened with Shatterbelt. And you're telling me that something about quantum metaphysics, Schrodinger's <laughs> cat, <laughs> consciousness, yeah. is not a pitch that yeah. Hollywood just says, take my money. Apparently. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah, I had when to you, learn the hard way. When you say Schrodinger's cat to an executive, they go, stop <laughs> drilling <laughs> the kid oil. Yeah, Give over. this kid a pen. <laughs> <laughs> say Let's no do more. It. <laughs> it's Patton Oswalt meets Schrodinger's cat. Uh, Give me yeah. your money. Go. <laughs> Why are we still talking? <laughs> Tell the caterers. Roll the Boy, camera. The check. Slice those bagels. We're hey, Let's some. go. It's, but it's, it's what I appreciate appreciate about it, both Coherence and this uh, Shatterbelt, is you take these big concepts, you swing for the universe, yeah. not the mm -hmm. fences, yeah. and you're like, we're going to talk about quantum metaphysics, we're going to talk about Schrodinger's cat, we're going to talk about consciousness, we're going to talk about reality, and we're going to ground it in an ordinary setting, because I have the budget for a one-day shoot, <laughs> yeah. and I'm going to make it as real as possible, and I'm going to just run with it, and there will be an audience. And what's so cool about this, both Coherence and Shatterbelt, at South By, which before the, the big Hollywood folks like Patton came, was indie, <laughs> was indie roots, and you're a Texan, JJ, you know what's up. Yeah. The, the, what I love about this with Shatterbelt is you got it funded through Kickstarter. Like that's, just tell me about really? like reaching out to the Coherence universe and saying, if you like Coherence, <laughs> Did you Come. reach out to the Coherence first? I kind of did. I, and through my sister, Alyssa, who was producing, she said, uh, I can probably gather some people who were fans of Coherence. And this guy, Olaf Carlson Wee, who is a cryptocurrency guru, he was a fan of Coherence. We reached out to him. As Last well year, as, crypto was all the rage. I know. I know. <laughs> and it started yeah. people. So it really, it was just like stone soup. Like We just yeah. started making it without any support at all. And I just picked up a camera and started shooting one in my living room. But then because we just started doing it, people started saying, I will help you. And Patton reached out, Abigail Spencer. Mm. We started finding this great uh, like-minded people yeah. to, to make it real. And it really was just like, if you start with love and you start with a pure mm. intention, mm -hmm. you just sort of trust that it's going to follow a path. To, and and to all manifest. the people out there that brought that bought Burkett coin and really said that was it. really the key. That yeah. was a the, huge the, turning without point. The, yes. Without the NFT yeah. of Burkett. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> we minted work. them and sold them at, on the corner. Yeah, uh, my son had a lemonade stand and an, uh, a <laughs> yeah. Burkett coin. But what's yeah. really cool about this is you build a community. You just like I'm going to swing for the universes. I'm going to put this out there. You find a community, and that community includes, and I say this with deep respect and a compliment, Alpha Nerd. Yeah. Alpha Geek, Alpha. Uh, the, the Sheikh of Nerds, Yoda Nerd now at this stage of your life, yeah. Pan Oswald, yeah. and he says, I'm a fan, I'll do this, well, Kickstarter funded new series. I had, it, it's even, I I'd watched Coherence one night and then did this long Twitter thread about, I was just so blown away by how mind-bending the movie is with zero special effects, like mm -hmm. it, it almost... It, it, uh, it's, it's almost ordinary to a fault, like, and, and then it, that's why it takes you by such surprise. So that made us become friends, and we just kept talking about all of our shared interests. Yep. And then, it, it, again, happened organically. I then wrote instantly an episode for Patton, just in a night, and said, do you want to be in an episode? Well, I actually didn't say, do you want to be in a... I said, will you read this script? Yeah. 
I thought he would understand that that meant, will you be in it? And he was like, great, I really liked it. Did you want Jack Black in this? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I Why are you sending me? Yeah. He goes, I'm the older Obi-Wan, but Jack Black is yeah. you. I had to him. clarify, no, no, this is something yeah. I thought of you for. And I'm, he, I'm the Costco Kirkland Jack Black. I'm the one that you can get uh, affordably. I'm the Costco South Asian. <laughs> there you go. Well, she exactly. says no, they come to me. Boom. Uh, JJ, you're a Texan. I got to go to you first. We have yeah. a Texan crew. Yeah, sorry, guys, you got to wait. Sorry, sorry, you got to wait. You got to wait. You should have been born here. You should have been born here. Sorry. Nepo Texan baby. Uh, you are in, I saw three episodes. Mm -hmm. And you're in an episode where they just drop you in and the first six minutes you're like what the f what is happening yeah and it's sh i don't even know i don't want to spoil it but it's like schrodinger <laughs> schrodinger's cat in a startup uh-huh and, yeah and so you get the right you get the you get the <laughs> yeah and you're shannon i think you're in that episode as well both of you all and ryan you're yeah, in that as well you're richie richie yeah. richie, yeah. richie you're so richard Richard, <laughs> yes. there's a Richie doppelganger out there, and damn it, this is Richard's moment. <laughs> this is Richard Fallon's moment. But you're in two. We're going to get to that in a second. But you got the script, and you're like, yeah. oh, yeah. okay, of course. Yeah. Burning your cat at a startup. Yeah. yeah. Did you go all in, or were you like, like, explain this to me? Yeah, no, I read it, and I was like, I, this is me. I know exactly who this person is, and mm. I uh, feel very comfortable doing it. The only thing I need is a chair that I can do the audition in. <laughs> so I went to Target and got an office chair and put it together and I was like, now this is it, yeah. I Just got it. for her audition too. <laughs> yeah. She, yeah. I took it back right after. Own set. <laughs> and so you felt like, because I was watching, I was just thinking as an actor, especially yeah. the first four minutes where it just drops you in the episode, a lot of jargon and you're yeah. trying to figure out what's happening. Yeah. And it's so ordinary mm -hmm. yeah. in, the, in a startup, but at the same time you're, you're with the, the dilemma. The mm -hmm. apple, the uh -huh. apple dilemma without giving too much away. <laughs> yeah. And so, Shannon, you were, you were there and you, when you got the script where you're like, huh, of course, yeah, well, this is so normal. Hollywood gives this to me all the time. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I think what Jim was saying about finding like-minded people, it's really refreshing when you see a script where you just feel like these are the kind of big questions you ask yourself too. And I feel like as mm -hmm. a just philosophy kind of nerd, I was- This is know, a safe space for nerds. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I gravitated towards it. And then I think what's so great about the writing in both Coherence and Shatterbell is it's a discussion. You know, the characters right. are figuring out and that's I think what makes it feel so ordinary is do we answer the question? We don't know. But, it do, it yeah, doesn't it's, dumb yeah. down. It just, <clears throat> that's why I like it. It doesn't dumb down, but it's right. also very natural. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if it's like, if I was placed in this situation, talking about whether or not this is an apple or it isn't an apple, and how yeah. can no one can touch it, <laughs> yeah. I, would I would probably be like in this that. room. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. Well, that's yeah. what's so cool about their episode is reality is shifting, and their first, imp all of our impulses would be, how can I get back to normal immediately? Mm -hmm. And that's what creates all the tension. Yes, it's, it's yeah. so I feel safer, like, yeah, grappling with how to get and, back And speaking about way. normalcy within an abnormal situation, Richard, you're in two episodes that yeah. I've seen. Uh, which means obviously that you know, your teacher's pet, <laughs> or, or you're just like I'll just do it. I'll, I'll no, do it no, it was it was honestly like the so when Jim asked me to read for the the first episode, I was just ecstatic and like you know was when I got the part, I went on set and was like, all right, now I have to do a good job. I hope he likes me. <laughs> and so we you know we finished shooting and I was like, I hope he likes me. You know, and then a few months later when he reached out, being like, you know, I'm doing another episode and I think it might be another part you'd be good for, and that it's an anthology, so that can kind of play out. And kind of interconnected also. Yeah, but because that reaching out was then I was like, oh my God, he likes me. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> and, 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 and your episode, without giving too much away, is a, a, <laughs> a unique dinner, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And, yeah. and, it, and it's Same a dinner where a lot's happening, and the characters are taking in a lot, and, and Revealing a lot, and, 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 yeah, <laughs> expunging a lot, yeah. And so we were, uh, uh, no spoilers, right? Yeah. It was pretty good. No, no, yeah. No. Uh, yeah, that's why they pay me the big money. <laughs> one falafel <laughs> sandwich a day. Yeah. I'm grateful. Well done. Uh, <laughs> but that said, because I'm looking, it's a simple budget. It's done really well, and the food, it was like. It ha I had a visceral reaction when you were yeah. eating it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, right. So I'm not the only one. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I was like, what in the? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what in the... Well, you know, Can we say like, that? When, when we were reading it in the script, like, it, it had, like, some kind of descriptions of what we were eating, but given that, like, it's set in this gourmet restaurant, I was, like, excited. I was like, and we're going to get to eat all this, like, really cool, weird food, and then, like, you know, you take the first <laughs> bite, and you're like, we're really going to have to act with this. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to I just got told, I thought we had 20 minutes. We only have two minutes left. What? what? I have to go to Obi-Wan, your episode. Your episode was, yeah. it's a different episode, it's, it's a lovely episode. Mm -hmm. A heartbreak, uh, a love, uh, 
the journey that your character goes on and its relationship to a collectible. And, and to make yeah, something well, so profound about that. Well, also the fact that you, it, it, it's a nice meditation on you don't get to decide what becomes a collectible, what becomes mm. immortal, what mm. becomes valuable in the future. And it makes you question does it, some of the stuff that we now value as classical, yeah. was it all just a mistake of time and place and other things dropping off the radar, but this thing somehow survived? It, it just, it yeah. is a very, yeah. it makes you, again, like all these things, it makes you question reality. It, was yeah. always, it makes you question reality, but I thought it was very profound also because I think <coughs> after seeing those three, we take these big, big picture ideas, but especially in your, all the episodes, it's, uh, at the end of the day, it's human. It's love. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. connection. And yeah. a toy can potentially, without giving too much away, <laughs> inspire love in mm. different places. Mm. Let me leave it at that. Yes. That's yes. 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 Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 You should pay me to be here. Yeah. <laughs> With the 30 seconds that we have left, uh, again, I want to remind people, there was no studio. This was Kickstarter. This was done by love. For people watching at home, if they want to see more Shatterbelt, how can they support this vision? Well, we're going to be making Shatterbelt for the next 20 years, whether we have a streamer or not. So yeah. it's really a test. Of, is there an intelligent executive out there that wants to come on board? Because with or without them, we're going to be making Shatterbelt. Right. People can find it online. If we don't find a partner right now, we'll just put it out there to the world ourselves. Yeah. With five seconds I have left, if Yoda was here to pitch Shatterbelt, <laughs> how would he pitch? Oh, my God. Um, uh, Blown will be your mind. Does that work? Yeah. It, it, it could go in so many different ways. Yeah. We'll take it. It matches right. the poster. Thank, so thank you. It yeah, matches it match the spirit the of yeah. South Park. Right. Shatterbelt screens tomorrow morning, March 14th at 11 at the Stateside Theater. And we'll be back live at 2.30 this afternoon, naturally, with the Wu-Tang Crew mastermind, Riza. These okay. interviews are also streaming stay, live during the event on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash SXSW. I'm Wajah Ali the Costco of South Asian hosts. <laughs> Thanks for watching.